<laughs> Here, I'll give you a deal. I'll give you a deal. Uh, I'll um, I'll add something to your objectives list to make this direct PvP, but it'll also have a chance for you to save Yanni's mom. Nice. <laughs> have to save Yanni's mom. How, how will we recognize my mom? I don't know. Ah. Uh, I don't know what she wears nowadays. How the hell would I know what she's wearing? Do you think I just like perv on your mom? Like what the hell, Yanni? I perv on Outcast's mom, duh. <laughs> Get it right. Any, any kind to like fence mom? I probably know where she is. Wait, Nim, Nim, can you lie to me and tell me your name's Stacy? My my name is Stacy. Okay, I, I perv on Stacy's mom. There we go. Wow. Anyway, I'll be I'll be back in a bit. I'm gonna give them their brief, and then I'll give you your brief because you take time to Barbie. <laughs> oh God! So last season it was Goon Squad. This season, Milf Hunters. I like it. At least we're honest with our intentions. Cack. <laughs> Welcome to the pre-brief op. It's uh, interesting. <laughs> yep. I'm happy now. <laughs> All right, Guatemalan players. Well, the CIA talks about Yanni's mom. I'm going to give you your brief. So if you guys look on the map and correspond uh, where we are to the box, you'll see that we're at grid ref 177184. Let me make sure I'm on yelling. Okay. So uh, we're there. Uh, just to give you a note, guys, there is a uh, friendly base over at 182187. That's just there in case you need to run to friendlies. And also, this is a friendly controlled town. Now, here's the uh, here's the op today. If you look on this uh, big box... Oh, God, I think they changed their squad to MILF Hunter. Sorry. Uh, if you look at this big box, it's between 180179. Wow, that lines up perfectly. So 180180, and it's a 2x2 two two kilometer box, which is marked by this little map. We have this here because we believe that the gorillas are using aircraft to resupply themselves with uh, arms. Now, how they tend to do these is they'll fly an aircraft over, they'll drop one of these big boxes, which are the uh, green ones you use for resupply, and then it'll land via parachute, and then they'll pick it up with a truck. Now, uh, some meta notes. Each one of these boxes takes six cargo spaces in the box. I've changed the uh, variable of your trucks to take 20 cargo spaces, and they all have two spare wheels, if I remember correctly. Uh, so you can fit three boxes in a truck. We don't know how many boxes are dropped per airdrop, but they also do this to show that they're dropping. I'm going to demonstrate it behind me. Just pretend I throw a bunch of smoke grenades. That's about right. Does that make sense? I know it's not ideal, but I need you guys to find a way to spot shit. Fair enough. So that's how we're going to do it. And it looks like the CIA are now performing an exorcism in their base, but I digress. Your job is to basically intercept and steal these weapon shipments that are dropping from the sky. Uh, you have a giant area to search for them, but you can look for smoke, look in the sky, listen to an aircraft. But do note that within that AO, or just outside of it... I already saw it. They're crazy. Uh, there might be a large gorilla base that might be too much for you to take out on your own. So I recommend you don't engage it and instead go for the weapon shipments because they're going to be bringing those weapon shipments to that base and then leaving with them. So be careful. I'm going to say this again. I do not recommend you attack it. Any questions? Are the CIA hoping to grab these we weapon shipments or are they just protecting them? Why would the CIA be here? We're just fighting gorillas. Are you implying that the CIA works for the gorillas? I crazy. Man. That would be really messed up. I mean, that would like shatter the whole 1954 geopolitical climate. <laughs> Damn. 
I mean, we know that they have some sort of like Honduran special forces dudes, but that's it. I don't know what you're talking about with CIA. All right. Mm -hmm. Guys in black. Won't be surprised if I see them. See what? Fair enough. Is that man on drugs? He's a leadership role. Are you guys okay with that man leading you? Alright. Well, um, we haven't uh, heard of any of the planes coming by yet. I'll come back later to uh, let you know when you can begin your operation. So I'm going to now uh, go in this house. That's not how you open the door. Thank you. Okay, uh, question. Yes, you did. Alpha and Mias Bravo, right? Uh, so, we'll so. no, no, no. so Alright, so, um, I saw that you need an exorcist. <laughs> <laughs> I've ascended through the power of Yanni's mother. <laughs> <laughs> We got into some funky shit, Lou, where you were gone. Hey, Guatemalans, this is your Guatemalan leader. There's six of them. I'm just letting you know that now. <laughs> <laughs> he's gone. No, oh, he's there. No, no, like, he's, he's gone uh, like 20 meters up. <laughs> watch out here. Alright, just follow the sound of my voice. Let's go have your brief. Where did I put it? I think I put it over here. Now, if you want a real reason to call an exorcist, boom! Door opened on its own, because I'm invisible. <laughs> this, this arm is too weird for me. Okie dokie did we Some nice, pa nice paintings you made, Leo. Yep, I know. We're gonna have to get map grids out, too. I know there's more of you. Where the hell are they? Uh... Where's the chick? Arsenal, obviously. <laughs> Woman! Said hours of testing, he's setting, saying 39 hours of pain. Oh my god, let me go get them. Lady! There we go. Okay. Alright, guys, so here's your mission brief. So first off, I'm gonna go on the paintings to your left to your right, because apparently these are paintings now, according to the Nemesis. <laughs> uh, 40 hours went into painting these, so yep. make sure you uh, respect them accordingly. Uh, on the left, you have the Guatemalan lay uh, layout, loadout. Fuck. This is what they look like. This is what they drive. They have M2s on their trucks. Awesome. Next painting. This is what the gorillas look like. They're your friends. Don't shoot them. If you shoot them, I'll just have them aggro against you, and your job's gonna be harder. Third painting. This is the AO, the little blue r symbol right there, the little thing on the left. That's where you spawned. If you need a grid ref, we are at, let's see... We're at around 169171. Again, 169171. Uh, the main Guatemalan garrison is marked on the top of this painting at suspected staging garrison at that compound. They're going to be moving into this boxed area because we may or may not have leaked information that we're going to be dropping supplies to guerrilla forces in that area. This is so we can move a large portion of their garrison out of the town, but it won't be ungarrisoned because of the man all the way on the left on this painting. This is generic Guatemalan man name. The reason I say that is because this op is redacted, because we actually don't know if any CIA assassinations happened in 1954 because they burned all the documents. So I'm going to call this man Lieutenant Man, okay? So, Lieutenant Man's important because Data expunged. He drives around on a Willy Pete Jeep. And he has a blue beret with a green gold symbol. We didn't really get a good angle on it because, as you can see, he turned away because he's smart before he shot our painter. 37 times in the <laughs> chest. Anyway, <laughs> let me uh, have you all open your maps here because the third painting cropped out. Don't ask what that means. I don't know how you can crop out a painting, but we managed to do it. So we have their first position marked at, uh, yep, you have it marked as enemy spawn. There is another military position marked at 181187. And uh, 
Lieutenant Man's office is over at Grid Ref 178 186 Numpad 6. There is going to be an office building and a barracks building. Again, 178 186. So he's most likely going to be there. If he's not there, he's probably going to be at the farther military compound. And if he's not there, someone with a different colored beret might know where he is. Keep at six, then pistol search here. They cannot see this. If you mark it on side, they can't see it. Oh, five council watches over you. We are not bots. <laughs> I see global, but not the side. Yep. Yeah. So you need me to repeat those uh, markers again. Okay. So he is likely to be at 178186 numpad 6. Because there is an office building and a barracks building there. He'll be in either one of those buildings with an 80% certainty. One eight seven one seven six. Yes. No. One seven eight one eight six. Now. One seven eight one eight six. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. There is a fifteen percent certainty he will be at one eight one one eight seven. At that small military post. And there is a five percent certainty that we're not going to know where he is because he's not going to be at either spot, and someone with a different colored beret might know where he is. Hmm. Okay. Now, this is a kill mission, so once you kill him, take his beret and RTB. After you get back here, we might rescue Yanni's mom. Okay. <laughs> Great. Any questions? All right. Are you all ready to move out? I think so. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. I got, I got to do one, awesome. one thing. Okay. I'm going to give it two minutes, and then I'm going to tell the other guys that they can move out, okay? Does that sound fair? Fair. Cool. I've, I've done this every up now, but... <laughs> like leave it. Or Le the, the thing in global, leave it. <laughs> I'm gonna give him a mortar. Why'd you strip me naked? <laughs> That's whatever it says. Happens in Guatemala. There we go. Oh god, he's free! Damn yeah, right. Okay, Dang, let's go. All right, I'm now this other guy, which did you where'd he go? What? <laughs> oh, here we go. Did you just yeah. immediately take my AI? Uh, you talking about this guy in here who's naked? What the fuck is happening? No, I know. Uh, okay, you know what? I'm in a disembodied voice now because you guys can't keep it in your freaking pants. I mean, you're not wrong. You're literally going to keep it in our pants. I'm gonna set it as a uh, civilian. Can you really be truthful? I thought anyway, about it. I didn't do it though. Okay. Because you were pussy. No, because I know he'd shit on me from a great height. I want to go to live for a long time. I'll let you know when you guys can leave. I just want you all to know that I am immensely disappointed in all of you. And I hope you have fun with this operation. Oh no, Angel! Look out for that guard tower rail! He fell from the palm tree. 
Can you kill him off quickly so we have this one death before Bravo. we get out of here? Nope. But I want one death, I'll take the seven death. Alright, anyway, I'll deal with whoever I have. Bravo, it's so very really simple. We will be moving together, red with red, green with green, of course. Now, nah, green be will be vehicle crew, so that means me and Prozzy, medic. If you have wounded, load them into the vehicle. I do not want them to be treated on ground. Only exception is if we are under fire and you have better cover. Otherwise, I want to keep mobile. Now, you see the markers A1 to A5. Who's? What? To the north, yes. Yeah. Okay, let's load up in the vehicle now. You guys are clear to move out. Have fun. Again, it's it's a very rudimentary system, but hey, it works. Because now it's going to be a game of uh, cat and mouse, essentially. I'm going to send a squad to it. Oh, it doesn't want to stun the parachute. That's fine. Is it going to cook off, though, when it hits the ground? Hopefully not. Oh, yes, it does. All right, so we just got to fake it, then. That's fine. That's why I spawned a bunch of these crates, just to make sure... Uh, Silly things weren't uh, that apparent. So what I can do is I can just spawn those, hit the uh, double tap button. What's that engine sound? You don't want to know. And just let me make sure it didn't spawn any vanilla stuff. Excellent. Okay. Roger that. wonky as heck now something i didn't test that i honestly should have how good is the driving ai in the uh, woods it's probably gonna be hella bad otherwise cia are also moving up the msr ish and yeah, they moved up a little bit so i'll be uh oh it's because you don't have a driver in it that's that's awkward here now I copy paste you copy. All the way. you still don't want to go Cack. well all right at least I tried that's fine we can just drive through As an O5 council member coming on to a public stream, doesn't that, uh... If you're advertising you're an O5 council member, isn't that uh, grounds for an immediate termination? Because to me, that sounds like grounds for an immediate termination. <laughs> that car up a little bit I got a debug squad back here to uh, basically spawn stuff from you know I should also probably uh, do some global here this is the warm-up round
I'm not sure if they're going way over. I'm going to grab just this four man. Copy. On the way. On the way. Copy that. Copy that. To patrol up and down the road. drop over here probably so as that readies up I'm gonna put these crates down you know I could probably drag them all closer and just have uh, what you call it so it's a easier route so I'm gonna quickly do that Put him on the beach right there. And then grab a AI for easy marking so I can quickly F key back and forth. We have already had one... Oh, no, that's just me. <laughs> I was like, wow, we already had one dead. Oh, never mind. I think to make this a little easier, I'm going to grab this squad. Solid copy. On the way. On the way. Roger that. Just gonna pull it in. Gonna have her go south. this a little bit, but let's, uh... So, let's give him a warm welcome, shall we? Let it load. You know, they're being pretty mobile for a QRF team. They're actually doing that a lot quicker than I thought they would. Now, I'm going to be honest. If they happen to just walk in there, I'm going to admin move him to a different spot. Because this whole thing is just a stall tactic, more or less. Let's, uh, let's give him a warm welcome, shall we? So I gotta make sure this is pulled in just enough. Because there's no way in hell they would, um, you know, just happen on him. Right, I mean, if they did that, I'd just move him into the town and say he didn't have a move at all. Let's, uh, let's give him a warm welcome. I'm gonna go ahead and watch this firefight.
Sorry about that. My brother locked himself outside the house, and they're all dead. So meanwhile, these guys have cut across the street. Guatemalans, you on net? Hey, friend. Yo. Roger, uh, I forgot to tell you, if you um, get any supply crates, feel free to drop them off at 182-187 at the far military base. Over. Uh, can you mark? Over. Uh, I can't mark because then... CIA will see it. So 182187. Uh, red dot and mark map. Sorry, guys, um, I know what it is. Alright. Okay, cool. Thinking we'll do one more drop and we'll have it go around to right there. I'll go to these three guys. Let's see, that's going to be about right here. Seeing him line it up. All right. truck right uh, there so i thought i could do something where i could actually like grab them but they're actually being very very quick to identify the drops which honestly good for them good for them oh five councils dad expunge yes jay yes we know i do like how uh, a lot of you guys do know a lot about scp clef and dr bright and all their crazy stuff how's the 212 i i wouldn't know I haven't, uh, I haven't been one of their ops in a very long time. Yeah, we're, we're actually being so, don't worry. If you see where uh, he drops, try to mark. I wouldn't know. But Prolabs, thanks for the nine-month resub. Pew pew indeed. I hope you keep enjoying the operations, and I hope you get a kick out of this operation. On the way. Roger that. This is going to be awkward because they're dropping those supplies off back there. I think they're going to beat them. So just uh, be aware, you're not going to be able to actually move those boxes around, so just unloading them and leaving will be fine. I'll manually put them in the base. Over. Hey, bro. <sighs> All right. So this this is where the pinnacle of everything's going to be, and I just kind of want to watch these two symbols collide. Because this is where PvP gets interesting. How long are the Guatemalans going to stay in the town? How long till Blue Four fires the first shot? Is it going to be in an audible range of each other? Or is it going to be completely mistimed? Who knows? But I think, based off of speeds, that the Guatemalans are going to be in and out. And they're going to be going back to the previous airdrop before the uh, any real PvP can be initiated. Which is fine, because there's going to be a lot more opportunity. So let's uh, zoom in here, since Blue Force is staging at that one spot. You're going to see these guys basically spend some time offloading their boxes.
They're just pulling into the bases to do that. Haven't seen any boxes actually get out yet. I think they're doing a full dismount. But let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have eight blue four players in the Guatemalans. I think we only have a force of about 15 or so, if that. About 13. So we'll see how that goes. Blue four coming close. The outbound patrol right here, which is patrolling the entire intersection, is at the worst possible position to run into them. Ah, green four is taking their sweet time to unload those boxes. This could mean that the blue four objective is going to be a lot tougher since green four just gets to respawn right there. Blue 4 need to keep quiet and stay low. Stealth up to this objective. Have this plane do another run. Roger that. Bravo, easy and ready to move. They only offloaded one of the boxes. I think Kane's unloading the other box. Blue Force slowly making their moves. Because again, if shots are hot heard and these guys move back, it's kind of GG for the uh, CIA because they can infinitely spawn. Not hearing that plane. There it is. If I could change, like, the arc of where the smoke was blowing, that would be nice. So I could have it, like, blow downward instead of doing something silly like that. That would be nice. And if they still have one more box to load in, Green 4, I think, unbewilling, uh, un... However the heck you say it. They don't know that what they are doing right now is actually giving them a good amount of stall time. Just in case Blue 4 makes a move early. Alpha, do not drag the whole base with you. By the way, are you taking the second truck? They are stalling hard. That's a friendly area. Enemy will not get it. Time is of an essence, Alpha. If you have an idea, let's move. say just to speed it along because in that time I would have gotten those boxes so green four leaving just as these guys are probably about to go guns up here because this patrol so I'm gonna need some uh, drown out noise so I'm going to intentionally On send a squad over here Copy. Copy that. To drag that out. I'm going to send these three squads back. Alpha to Bravo, we're moving south to uh, the kind of A5 open area. See if anything got dropped there. Uh, so we'll be Whoa, ho, ho, holy crap, That's they just pushed Yanni. Yanni just got pushed and shot to shit. Holy crap. And um, my bad guy saying there was shots west far. Yeah, those shots are audible. 
Uh, Bid by uh, those famous uh, guys in black, probably. Contact southeast in the opening. Uh, be advised, uh, I will ignore that contact if there is no boxes there. Hi, what? Alpha, I will ignore those contacts if there is no boxes next to them. Oh, he was talking to his squad about the boxes. Alpha, let's ignore it, let's move away. Get another truck and just tell him to go up here. Oh, he's actually gonna do it. Sweet. They're getting a little gun heavy. Meanwhile, these guys looks like they're working on medical for these guys. They'll probably be able to get them back up. Enemies are uh, moving uh, south of Issachar into my boys. Let's avoid them and let's find ourselves cargo. Yeah, we're moving and they're maneuvering against the contact right here. Figure Smoke is smoke is. They gotta be careful because they they drive into here. I mean, this is where I got twin M twos and a shit ton of other M twos. Yeah, we're moving east now, south one. I have another flyby right there. We will have a contact on our right. Driving danger close to these two squads. Meanwhile, looking back over here, the threes looks like they were able to get Yanni up. They're still working on Zope, I think, for CPR. These four have pulled over here. I might bring some Guatemalan reinforcements soon. These guys crossing around. This guy go join the offense here. How are we looking? Slow burning anti gravity bombs. I got two people on Yanni now. These guys are moving way past their uh, area here. This is Bravo. I got one that was. Wait, one. Thought I heard them call one dead. I got concerned there. Smoke that area again, add another copy paste. I'm just gonna put it on there. And where's that third squad? Uh, how about instead I just delete them and send them up as QRF? Solid copy. On the way. It's again, all we're doing is just stalling. Now I'm going to brain up. I think that's an ammo truck, so we'll do this one instead. Confirm her cargo's clear, because I just did a copy paste. Yep, it's good enough. Alright. Now QRF would 
Probably, I mean, there's not really any roads here, but that's fine. That's what? But I copied the truck. The truck. <laughs> Let me copy the truck, game. Come on, please. Leave the glitches to yesterday. Okay, we'll do it the hard way, then. Since you're so kind. Uh, bravo, enemies to the west in the trees. Enemies to the... Also, let's go ahead and get these civilians to start cowering. I'm a little late on that, but late's better than never, so we're gonna do false. Alright, so they're gonna be able to grab his intel and then they're gonna need to go. Yeah, we're mounting up. Guatemalans, this is Guatemalan High. I need you to come back to the large town. There has been a guerrilla attack. Over. Hey, firm. Hey, firm. They're going to mount back up very quick. I'm moving back to the town now. Pull out of the town. Well, no, they found the note, and the note's gonna tell him that he's over here, so... Pull this car back out just a little bit. So these guys are disengaging. These four, I'm not sure if they're gonna be told. I don't see any LRs. They probably have uh, short ranges instead. thinking we'll probably have uh, a truck full of... Uh, oh dear. I think they put charges on that Vic. Alpha, you good? Uh, Alpha's good, we're moving. I do have these two puppies. Might as well throw up another botched attack. for moving off immediately on the way solid copy ground slash high can you give me an update what's going on this town uh yeah the bullets seem to have died down uh we're just holding defensive at this time over are they actually driving to the we start here solid marker copy. is our mission cancelled for today or uh Stand by. Just get back here and drop off what you have, and I might send you back down. Solid. Yeah, so these four don't know that uh, that intel's been found. So no one bothered to go and tell them. They're going to have a lot of people to deal with outside. These guys are driving... <laughs> They're going on an off-road adventure! How long they'll drive, I don't know. Uh, okay, he just threw his M2 out. Awesome. Thank you. Very cool. Andruza gets dropped. His lag switch was not good enough. Outcast now taking to the door. Suppressing Outcast. He uh, walks to the right, gets dropped. I be advised, in northwest, west, I think I seen something. <laughs> and they're off on their own adventure! <laughs> well, I meant for this to be PvP, because we got half the CIA guys out of position. Alpha, be advised, your driver doesn't know where he's driving. Uh, one of them might have disconnected, I don't see him anymore. 
Or no, it might have been Andrewza disconnecting because uh, of internet. Yeah, I don't see Andrewza anywhere now. Did he get teleported? Oh, yeah, he got... Uh, hey, buddy. Oh my god. That's great. That is actually great. He, uh, I don't know how he did that, but he just got his South African, uh, lag switch. And I guess went to town. Hey, where are you guys? QRF came in and they're screwing up our spawn base. Can you can you help? <laughs> yeah, we're on our way. Oh, yeah. kind of went way too far north. Be advised, uh, maps are not very precise, apparently. What do you mean maps aren't precise? <laughs> <coughs> Genius. Alpha, check your uh, maps next time you move out. Say they're gonna deploy uh, one of their turrets right here because they have all the stuff to do it. He's gonna drop dead because of our scripts. Yep. So yeah, will these guys come in the back room? Alpha, I think that the other base is getting intact. Spawn base, as in where you spawned. Again, Alpha, another... Uh... It's okay, they'll figure it out eventually, but I think they're gonna... Yep, drive up. You guys are getting in this Vic, you're hearing this guy shoot his handgun. Nimia quickly drops him. But they need to get out of dodge like right now. Nim. Nim, you're holding up your group. Stop thinking about blood, Nim. Karn dismounting, he might get some shots on him. And there they go. So PvP narrowly avoided this time. Understood. That group should have been sent back forever ago. You guys might start engaging that truck. Yep. Are they just gonna waltz right up there? On the way. Yeah, I'm gonna actually have them follow that truck to that town. They have to have SRs or something. basically go back here delete all this since we don't really need that anymore because phase two has started I'm gonna send up a third and final truck of QRF ground uh, this is Bravo yeah what up 
We got a couple of stragglers, but we think we do. Uh, we defend that at the moment. Uh, any news on enemy, additional enemies? Not at this time. Uh, I have displaced to the town of Inkissi. Uh, so I should be just to everyone's northwest. I'm, uh, I'm just fishing now. I don't want to deal with any of the violence. How's it doing? This is uh, Bravo fighting down, down, but there are still enemies in that area. Alright, well, you know, deal with them, uh, just relaxing. Uh, you know you can catch, like, good bass up in this river? <laughs> good to know some of my boats are smelly as hell. Oh, oh, okay. Ouch. Why aren't you driving? Did, did they dismount the vehicle? You idiots. Hey. Good to know that these guys are retarded. Okay. Will you do waypoints? Will you do it if I group you all together? On the way. What will it take to get the AI to drive? How about that? Hey, there we go. Now just face the right way. On the way. a bit of a lull period. They're gonna keep that area secured. I'll keep dead officer boy right there. Destroyed M2. Classic. Understood. So these guys are gonna go up here and tell them about the truck and then that's gonna get to me. Ground, this is Bravo. I do not hear any more shooting or screaming, so I believe we defend over. Yeah, mounts up. Stand by for a task. Hold up. Ah, uh, there's gunshots in my town. There is oh my god! Get up here immediately! Alpha, load up! Bravo, load up! Oh shit! I'm in the town of Inkizzi! Help me out! Holy crap! Get your asses up here, Prado! That means now in Spanish! Oh, they just blew up my car! Help! Get your asses up here, like, now! Okay, I'm going to try to make a run for it! I'm going to run south! You people need to save me! Hey, oh my god, this is just like Daisy. Incoming. Their incoming. I need you people to save me like now, please. Enemy coming in south. What? Oh no, 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 no. Ah! Oh 
my god, Silver Dragon just one up and left and right. Oh. God! Tempestal getting a kill right there. The colonel's body, or the first lieutenant man's body floating. Tempestal attempting to displace. These guys taking out their car. Oh, that went from zero to 100 super quick. Holy crap! Andrew's also still alive. Alpha, uh, did you manage to get our uh, general? Looks like automatic is up as well. Drew's a desperately trying to heal Tempestal, taking a few shots. Silver, I think, is still medicating. If he were to look outside right now, he would see him. I think these guys are trying to set up an ambush right here. Interesting. So Zope, I think, was taken captive. <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. This is undead and angel. We've got a squad to our southeast flanking us. Currently so located, we're on the southwest side of town. They've got their own vic, a large portion of enemies. So it's copy. We just found one of their vics and destroyed it. We'll try to assist. Comes some more gorillas. There's Silver trying to take him out. Unfortunately, Silver does have the high ground. Tempestal tries to take a moment to line his shot up. Unfortunately, loses that fight. They grabbed his beret. I think Andrews just got armored actually. So I'm gonna I'm gonna heal him. Rich coming over. Oh, is Silver gonna stop him on the coast? They're not going to see his body because it's in the water. Are they going to swim for it? Oh, that could be risky. Uh, rest of Bravo, Aristotle comes. Meanwhile, these guys have displaced over here. And Drews is still making a swim for it, but Automatic has the beret. Where is Automatic going? Oh, and he's going to get shot down by Rich. <laughs> Rich, I think, had to reload. He takes his handgun out. Manages to smack Rich down. <laughs> Automatic going for the flank here. Managed to cripple Silver. A grenade gets thrown. Oh, it was anticipated. Automatic manages to get him dropped. Holy crap. We're hearing more voices. Prozzy and Nato Stark running in to try to grab Automatic. They found Silver Dragon. Automatic went down to a grenade. Oh. I 
I don't think he's gonna wait back up. He just went in that animation. He's gonna camo with the bodies now. General, sir, ground whatever your life. I'm pretty sure he's dead because before we got there, I heard him on comms yelling about and I think I saw him get shot, so I'm pretty sure the general's dead. Ah, oh, so I think uh, Caleb just ran up double tap, triple tap, quadruple tap to automatic. Understood. I'm having these gorillas pull back. Andrews, do you have the beret? No, uh, what's the message went for the beret? Dang. I'm assuming that's him that they made the king. Andrews! I'll find you lead. It's just F'd Prossy with the rocket! Oh my god! Oh! What was that? What was okay, that? Okay, I just got hit by a rocket. Wait one. <laughs> Silver size Pross, he's down. Nano got hit by it. He's still okay for the most part. What is Calum doing? He's reloading the rocket. He's putting automatic into drown, and Druza misses the rocket strike. It's short. Caleb's now looking around trying to find where he was. Oh, and there's another one. <laughs> the humanity. And Druza is cleaning house. What is this? So Automatic's body is still there. It would still have the beret. Meanwhile, Andrews is literally chilling out in the open right here. Is he going to be sniped? Powerful location. A rocket was just fired at Andrews. So he's going to nope the heck out. Who did that? I think for a second, Karn saw Andruza. He's taking pot shots at him. He's trying to flip back around. There is movement right up here. Yep. You can see him right there. He's medicating. Angel, you fool. These two guys trying to medic Prozzy. I think uh, Andrews might try to go around and get a hit here. While well, these guys are literally up here looking at the north. Karn deciding to go. I think he's checking that body. He's gonna get his binos out again. He's immediately taking shots from up here. That building is smacked again. These guys choosing to return fire. Are you running? You're running, okay. See, with Andrews's lag switch on, he becomes unhittable. And now he's popping smoke. Alright. 
Alpha, I need your uh... Guerrilla warfare, yeah, right? Hot damn. 